name is Seth Rosenblatt for CNET, and in my hands I'm holding the uh, Windows 8 Developers Preview Tablet based on the uh, Samsung 700 T1A, which will uh, apparently be released sometime soonish, uh, with Windows 7 on it. But uh, Microsoft has told us that all uh, Windows 7 hardware will support Windows 8. And uh, so let's take a quick look at uh, the Windows 8 operating system. When you first boot it up, this is the first thing that you're going to see. A screen that says Personalize. I'm going to tap on it. It's going to give us a touchscreen keyboard. And there are some keyboard options. You can actually go to a split keyboard like that. You can go to a handwriting stylus mode, although uh, apparently not at this time. And so we are going to go to the bigger keyboard there. And here we are. Here's Windows 8. As you can see, if you're familiar with the uh, Mango interface from Windows Phone 7, uh, Windows 8 is actually quite similar to it. They're calling it Metro, not Mango. And uh, you have tiles instead of icons, and uh, they're grouped together. Uh, this is a developer's preview, so a lot of the features that we were shown today uh, at a demonstration, in fact, do not yet work in this build. Um, we did see them work live, so we know that they're coming. Uh, and they're not vaporware, but uh, it's a little bit disappointing to get this uh, new piece of hardware with a new operating system and find out it's not quite fully functional. Anyway, uh, some things do work, as you can see here. Uh, the NASDAQ and weather um, tiles uh, pull in information in real time, and we can tap them. And you can see how incredibly fast uh, uh, Windows 8 moves through uh, through its tiles and into uh, uh, the information that you're trying to get at. And we're going to jump into the stock app. And here you can drill down into more information. It pulls up uh, IE8. And uh, IE8 is quite interesting. Um, if you swipe down, you get your tabs, and your, your tabs up at the top here, and your location bar and navigation buttons here at the bottom. Uh, like the rest of Windows 8, you slide in from the right, you get here um, uh, features for moving around the tablet itself. We have search, we have share, that's a dedicated share button right here that lets you uh, share whatever it is you're looking at. You can share photos, you can share links, um, you can share things more as packages than as uh, solitary items, which is quite cool. Uh, start uh, devices takes you to your devices, and even though this is a tablet, because it's based on Windows, it will connect to uh, peripherals like keyboards, mice, and printers. You can also jump fairly quickly directly into a more traditional interface. You hit the desktop tile and bam! Windows 7 or Windows 8 desktop uh, or traditional. Uh, one of the cool security features in Windows 8 that's coming is create a picture password. If you tap this and you log in, uh, you can then uh, add a picture and draw on it to create uh, uh, a password that uses just the drawing. Um, it accepts uh, lines, circles, and dots. So for example, if you upload a photo of uh, your spouse or your children, you can uh, put two dots in their eyes, draw a line connecting them, and that will log you in, which is pretty cool. One of the interesting things about Windows 8 is that Microsoft has told us that they want people to uh, jump smoothly between Metro and the traditional desktop. Um, some people had thought that perhaps they wanted to be, uh, they want one to replace the other. But in fact, things like the task manager are only available from the more traditional interface. You can see here that there have been some pretty major changes to it. Um, we're looking at uh, uh, a heat map for things that are using a lot of memory and you have a resource monitor down here. Alright, so that's our uh, first early look at a very rough version of uh, Windows 8. Um, personally, I think it's really exciting. Uh, I think that the version that they showed us uh, earlier today was uh, a bit more exciting than what we've got here. Um, 
but I think it bodes well for uh, for making uh, Microsoft competitive uh, uh, in an era when there's really quite a lot of mobile competition and uh, dual operating system uh, madness going on. So uh, for CNET, I'm Seth Rosenblatt from Anaheim.